Y'all check out this text I just got about my book. It says, Dear Amanda, I hope this message finds you well. I represent Lionsgate Entertainment. We recently stumbled upon your book and we were absolutely thrilled about it. It is a tapestry of mesmerizing emotion and heartfelt action. They want to make my book into a movie. No, <laughs> except they don't because Lionsgate does not text random authors without even mentioning which book they're talking about. In fact, this is one of the most common scams I saw in 2023. And so you can be ready going into 2024. I want to give you the top most popular scams I have seen targeting authors this past year. Stay tuned. If you're ready to get your story out in the world, but you've just been waiting as you're not sure whether the budget's going to fit or the timeline or the support, I get it. Every author is different. Every book is different. And that is why in December we are rolling out three different tiers of service. You are not going to want to miss this announcement when we open to the general public. And if you want to be the first to hear, head to the link in the show notes, take the book strategy quiz. Once you do that, you're going to get a ton of helpful information now, and you're going to be the first to hear when we make these new tiers of service available. I can't wait. And I can't wait to hear about your book. Today, we are kicking off our series on money and publishing by talking about the top six scams I have seen in 2023. Now, all six of these have two things in common. One, they play on the author's dreams. So these are all things that are really going to take what you want out of your book and exploit it so they can steal your money. And two, they are all things that if you are inside the publishing industry, they're pretty easy to spot. But if you are a self-published author or someone who was kind of on the outskirts of your publishing process, you may not be able to recognize these unless you have a little bit of background. We're going to do that today. So what are the top six scams of 2023? One, 50% off, even 75% off publishing services. Oh my gosh, it sounds great, right? Two, unsolicited publisher or more commonly agent acceptance. Three, it's a major republishing author. It's a major republishing offer for self-published authors. No. <laughs> Four, a huge bookstore order and they just need a little discount. Five, an appearance to be on a hit television show you've never heard of. <laughs> and six, a movie rights inquiry, just like the one that I started this episode with. Now, before we get into these six scams, I want to give a little bit of a caveat. Here's the thing. Please do not take these as a reason to be cynical about every single publishing professional who approaches you. Times are tough just like in everything in the economy. And there are a lot of very qualified, very experienced professional editing service providers who are doing things like cold outreach right now, who are reaching out to support authors however they can. Whether you choose to work with those folks or not, that is totally up to you. But please don't assume that just because a service is a paid service, it is a scam. There are a lot of authors out there who will really um, dig in their heels on this and say that if you're being asked to pay for anything, then that is not a legit publishing service. That was maybe true in 1925. That is not true in 2024. Right now, there are many, many, many service providers who help authors get their books out in a way that is amazing, that is really professional, that is gonna have widespread circulation, and some of these services are paid services. So we're talking about scams here. We are not talking about legitimate companies that offer paid services, like mine, full disclosure. <laughs> we are not scam, but we do charge. All right, so what is our first scam of 2023? 50% off ghostwriting services. <laughs> okay, now this is one that I, I saw for a lot a few years ago. I have not had this come up quite as much until recently, when we start to have economic downturn, when things are a little bit tough, a lot of times that is when these scam companies come out of the woodwork. They realize that aspiring authors still want to get their books out 
even though times are tough, even though they don't have the money to pay for the top tier services they might like to employ. So how can you spot this scam? Interestingly, I find that usually the 50% off scam is not something that's coming through email. It usually is coming through a Google ad. So if you Google ghostwriting services or self-publishing services, a lot of times you're going to have probably five or six results at the top that are sponsored ads. They're not all scams. That's what makes this really hard. <laughs> but if you see uh, sites that are called like best ghostwriters or total best ghostwriters or best selling ghostwriters, that is a red flag. It's not necessarily mean that they're a scam, but it is a red flag. Here's how you're going to really know that it's a scam though. If you click through and there is a banner or some other, you know, pop up or whatnot that is promising you a high ticket service like ghostwriting, um, full editing services, self publishing packages, and they are promising 50% off, or sometimes I've seen 75% off as well. No ghostwriter is going to give you 50% off. In fact, most ghostwriters actually don't have a flat fee. Most ghostwriters are going to need to hear about your project and then they're going to quote. So there's no, it wouldn't make any sense to have a 50% off, right? Because they, if they wanted to do 50% off, they would just quote you double the number. <laughs> which is what's happening with these scam companies, except they're going to quote you double the number, take 50% off and then never deliver your product. And this is where it's a problem is a lot of times we'll see these companies that pop up. They have great looking web pages, a little flashy. A lot of times they're real bright colors and they'll have kind of animations and things on them, but they usually do look professional. When you kind of start clicking through a lot of times they're going to have a chat bot. So that something's going to pop up and can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? They're going to really push you to give your contact info. So a lot of times it's going to say something like 50% off ghostwriting, but only if you enter your contact now. Well, then they're going to get you on the phone. Then they're going to talk to you over email and all kinds of things happen at this point. One of the things I've seen with companies like these, are myself and other really well-known ghostwriters will a lot of times be listed in the personnel on these websites. Never heard of them, never worked with, would never work with these folks, but they know that if they can put folks that then can be Googled and you can verify our identities, that gives them a lot of credibility. I even have heard of a ghostwriter whose name was put on one of these company pages falsely a client had reached out and was promised that they could work with this person. And so this ghostwriter reached out to the company as, you know, a pseudonym and said, oh, I, I you know, I'd, I'd like to interview this ghostwriter. They put this ghostwriter in touch with someone else pretending to be him. So this stuff goes really, really deep. The way you can tell, you are never going to see a legitimate editing services company giving you 50% off. You just aren't. That is a, it's a bridge too far. When you're talking about a high ticket service, that is a huge, huge amount of discount. And most of us don't have that large of margins. Most of us, it, the amount of work it takes, we're being paid barely. We really cannot give that kind of a discount. Okay. So we're going to avoid those companies by just really doing our due diligence. And we are going to hold ourselves back from deals that sound too good to be true. That is a deal that is too good to be true. Do not fall for it. They will happily take your money, but you will probably never get a manuscript in return. Scam number two. This is an unsolicited invitation from a publisher or an agent. Now here is where we get a little bit tricky because there are hybrid publishers that do some cold outreach campaigns and they'll reach out to people that they want to work with. It is a paid service, but if they are a legitimate hybrid press, and talk about that in a second, that is not necessarily a scam. Agents, on the other hand, unless you are a very big name person, they are probably not going to reach out. And here is where it is really helpful to know some background on how the industry works, because these offers on their face don't make any sense, but only if you've got the background story. Okay, so if you are trying for a traditional book deal, the process is going to look something like this. You will put together a proposal for your nonfiction book and you will put together a query letter. 
You will send your query letter, sometimes with the proposal, sometimes not, to agents that you think would be a great fit for the book you want to write and publish. They will ask you for the proposal if you didn't send it initially and review it. Then if they want to represent you, they'll reach out. You'll have a contract. It'll have terms. You can have a lawyer look at it if you'd like. You will sign on to uh, work with them. It's a, a contract or an offer letter or offer of representation letter. You'll sign that. Then your agent will take that proposal to the editors that they know, editors who work at publishing houses. And those editors then will try to work within the publishing company to get sign off from all the people they need to get sign off. When they do that, they will offer you your book contract. Your agent will take usually 10%, 15 sometimes, off the top of your um, advance and royalties. Everybody lives happily ever after. Here is the rub. Legitimate agents get many, 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 many queries. Hundreds uh, a week, thousands sometimes, depending on the agent. They are absolutely not in any kind of position where they need to be reaching out to unknown aspiring authors. So unless you have had some kind of major viral, um, if, like a viral post that has to do with your background and the things that you do in your work, maybe you might get an invitation from an agent. If you are a celebrity, often you'll get uh, invitations from agents and or publishers. But for most of us, any kind of an incoming query about whether we'd like to be represented, whether we'd like to be published, yes, I would. <laughs> that is always going to be a huge, huge, huge red flag. So if you are getting offers from big five publishing companies, Penguin, Random House, Simon & Schuster, that is always going to be a no. They are never, ever going to reach out to an author directly, ever. So anytime you see one of those, really, really buyer beware. Almost always you're just going to want to delete that. And we're going to go the regular route of getting our publishing contract so that we are not uh, inadvertently signing our rights away. And number three, this is the third scam and it is where a self-published author is getting an invitation from a major company that wants to republish their book. Now, this is sometimes a scam. And sometimes it's not a scam, but it's not a good idea either. <laughs> so let's talk about both scenarios. First of all, the thing you need to know is it is very, very, very rare, very rare for a traditional publishing house to offer a traditional book contract to a book that has already been published. Sometimes if you have, are a self-published author and you've done really, really, really well, really well, like tens, hundreds, millions copies sold. You may get an invitation to write a second book and that is still gonna be really, really rare. You've gotta be a really high level, high, big name person. For most of our purposes, we can just assume that if we self-publish a book, that book is self-published and we can move forward and see what we wanna do for the next one. But when you have self-published a book, it loses huge amounts of value in the eyes of that publisher. And there are good reasons for that. One, you've already released it, right? They are not gonna be able to do any kind of a campaign to build up excitement because really you've already hit your main readers. So if you have self-published, having a traditional deal is really not gonna help you and it's not really gonna be worth the publisher's investment. Now, you may be getting emails from companies that uh, either hybrid presses or assisted self-publishing companies that saw your book and want to help you make it look a little bit more professional. That's fine, but they should identify themselves as such. You should be able to click over to their website if you do and see that they offer paid services. This is never ever going to come from a company that is a traditional publisher, as in they're not going to ask for an investment up front. So know that if you are getting a publisher that's reaching out and saying, oh, we want to republish your self-published book, that is probably either a scam or a paid service. Know that going in and you can make the best decision, right? The second scenario that I, I do want to float this by because we see this from time to time. If you are particularly a business owner or an influencer or somebody that has communities that you are leading, it is possible that you self-publish your book it gets on the radar of a big publisher and they want to offer you a deal either for that book or your next book. 
that is only going to happen if you are selling gangbusters. And here's what I want to say to you. If you are selling your book so well that you get the attention of a traditional publisher, why do you want the traditional publisher? <laughs> Some things I don't understand. If you're already selling so well, signing with a traditional publisher is essentially just going to be giving away a lot of money to the traditional publisher. I know it seems like, oh, but they have so much more power. They do have some power. But <laughs> they're not going to have as much power as you if you have a connected, engaged audience and you're pounding the pavement reaching them. They aren't going to be able to do better than that. So if that happens, it may not be a scam, but it is, I promise you, it is not going to be worth your investment. Keep doing what you're doing and make your money that way. It's going to be such a better investment than trying to go with the traditional after you've already seen success. Number four, a huge bookstore order. Okay, this one is tricky because of course we all would love to be in brick and mortar bookstores. And of course we all would love to get a huge bulk order. Who doesn't love that? But there are problems with this. First of all, bookstores do not order hundreds of copies, even uh, unless it's a huge bookstore in a huge metropolitan area, even the big, big, big sellers, they're probably not ordering hundreds of them, right? Bookstores just do not get that kind of traffic these days. If they are going to order your book, they're going to probably order two or three or four, maybe five copies, maybe up to a dozen. They are not ordering a pallet of your books. The bookstores don't do that. And if they, you don't want them to do that, by the way, because it's free returns usually for bookstores. They're not ordering hundreds of books. But here's the other way that you can really suss out what's happening here. And th uh, this is what I do when they, when they call me and I don't see who it is before I answer. Um, here is what you can ask them is, do you order through Ingram? Because if you are self-published, I hope that you have published your book through Ingram Spark. If you have done that, and if you have chosen to do the wholesale discount at 55% and free returns, those are the two things that you need to make sure you do, the best way for a bookstore to order your book is through Ingram. That's how they're normally going to put their orders in. They don't buy from Amazon, but they will buy from Ingram. You can just send them there. If they fight with you on that, you know that this is a scam, right? Because you're already going to give them a discount. You give them the wholesale discount, right? Of course you do. That's what we do if we want our book in bookstores. There's no additional discount you're going to be able to give, and it doesn't even really make sense to do that, right? If you are a traditionally published author, you cannot give a discount to a bookstore. It is not your job. You do not have the rights to do it. By publishing traditionally, I guarantee you signed away your right to be able to sell that book for less than the press is selling it for. Of course, they are never going to let you. I mean, you're not going to be your competitor with your own press. If you mention either of those things to them, order on Ingram, I've got the wholesale discount set up, or I publish traditionally, so I can't give you a discount, they should understand as a bookstore that that's how things work. If they fight you, what they usually say to me is, oh no, we've worked with many, many authors on this. That is not true. I guarantee it's not true. Hang up the phone. They are not going to actually order your book. They're gonna do some kind of a scam where they're gonna try to send you, oh, we'll send you some money, you send back. You know how these scams work. Don't fall for it. Bookstores do not call authors unless it's like a local author in which case you probably know them, bookstores do not call random authors and ask for discounts on bulk orders of books. It's not a thing. That's a scam. Scam five, television appearances. This is the very first scam that I ever experienced as an author. And I will tell you, I almost fell for it. When you get this email or a text, or often it's a voicemail that you'll get on your phone, this person is going to be posing as a publicist for a very well-known television star. Now, I'll tell you, I have never heard of any of the people they use. So I'm not usually seeing this be like Oprah or something. It's usually just some, some random sounding person, right? They will invite you to be on their show and do this interview. And oh my gosh, it sounds like a dream because who doesn't want a big television interview over their book? We all want that, right? or most of us. <laughs> so this is really playing on the things that authors want and really kind of using their dreams against them, which I hate. What is happening here? Very often this is not actually a scam, 
Very often what is happening is you are being invited to this interview and they are going to blow up your ego and they're going to talk to you about how many people you're going to reach and you are going to get so excited. You might even tell people and then they're going to let you know it's a paid appearance. So the last one of these I got, uh, just for you all, my lovely viewers, I went down this rabbit hole a little bit just to see what they were offering. And it was $1,500 for a YouTube interview. You do not need to do that. That is not a thing you need to do. If you are an author, if you have put together a professionally published book, self or traditional, you do not need to pay $1,500 for a television appearance. You just don't. You might pay $1,500 for someone to pitch you for many interviews. You, are, you do not need to pay $1,500 to go on someone's show. That's not a good use of your money. So whether that is a scam or not, they're offering a service. If people want to buy it, they can. I do not suggest that you do that. It is not a good use of your money. Stay far, far away from them. All right, and our last one, number six, this is the one that I started our episode with, and this is one that I have seen so much lately. This is the, we will make a movie or a series out of your book. Oh my gosh, we're so excited, right? Ah, I hear so many authors that really want their books, their memoirs especially, to be a movie or to be a Netflix series, and I get it because you are gonna reach so many people if you get one of those deals. Unfortunately, places like Lionsgate do not randomly email or text or call authors of self-published or traditionally published books. Um, if it is a traditionally published book, they are actually going to go through your agent. If it is a self-published book, they're just not going to reach out to you. You would need to work with somebody that can pitch studios if you wanted this. Um, they are not reading self-published books and calling those authors. Usually they're not even reading traditionally published books and calling those authors. So be really, really careful. Just delete this email. What I have seen is I have seen some authors reply because they're really hopeful that this is true. And the emails are often packed with, with details about your book, right? Which is the trickiest part. They will point out parts of your book that they liked. Usually these actually can be pretty easily found either in your reader reviews or in your descriptive copy that's on Amazon. But of course, a lot of us forget what's there, right? So we don't realize that's where they're getting that information. It will seem very, very specific to your book. And if you reply, you are gonna be on the list of all these scammers. They are all connected. They all are selling email addresses. And if you reply, you have validated your email. So don't do it. Unfortunately, I wish for you a Netflix series or a movie, but that is just not the way it works. You will need representation if you are so fortunate to be able to get one of these things. And by representation, I mean a trained, experienced literary agent. If you don't have an agent, this is, I just promise you, this is not happening for you. So be so careful. I know we would all love for this to be the case. It just is likely not. The big red flags in these emails, by the way, are going to be um, kind of strange chat GPT type grammar, a lot of exclamation points, things we don't usually see in a professional email. Okay, so we are going to steer clear of that scam, which just really hurts my heart. It is playing on all of these dreams and hopes and desires of authors. Ugh, I hate it. Okay, well, I hope this hasn't been too much of a downer of an episode, but as you head into 2024, I just wanna make sure that you are going in with your eyes wide open, ready for, um, ready to say no to anybody that is trying to take advantage of you and your love of your book. So if you're still needing a little bit of help for getting that book out in the first place, the best place to head is to our book strategy quiz. You can go to pageandpodium.com slash quiz. The link is also in our show notes down below the video. And we would love to give you some free advice on how to get that book to come out the way you want it and how to publish in a way that's going to suit your personality, your goals, and your book. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing, everybody. I am on a mission to make sure that everyone has access to the support and tools that they need to tell their story and tell their story 
well. And that is why I am so excited to roll out two brand new offers that are gonna fit so much more comfortably into a whole range of budgets. Now, the first one I can't share with you quite yet, but if you are looking for a community of support and skills and tips and all of the things you need to move your memoir forward, keep an eye on this channel. But the one I wanna tell you about today is the Change Maker Package. This is a brand new package we're offering that is gonna give you all of that ghostwriting, all of that um, editing support that you want, all of the help to get your story on the page, even if you're just not a writer. So that package is only available to our newsletter subscribers right now. But if you wanna be the first to hear when we open it to the general public, I hope you'll head over to the link in our show notes and take the book strategy quiz today. That's gonna to help make sure that you get all of the information you need about what the path your book should be on and how to sign up to have us help you get it out into the world. I know that you are ready for this and you deserve to have your story out there. So sign up for that quiz right now. The link is in the show notes and I can't wait to hear about your story.